from the Thai Cats Audio Network. This is Thai Cats Today with Louis Butko. Yes, it is Thai Cats Today for a Thursday, February the 9th, 2023. Louis Butko here with you. Thanks for checking us out on the Thai Cats Audio Network. Is uh, yeah, we're back, baby. Uh, here on uh, Thai Cats today, off season edition. So uh, may not be here as frequently as you're used to listening to us during the season, but we're definitely here. I'm here doing the show, talking into this microphone, talking to you, uh, the best fans in the CFL. Uh, you can always let me know how you're feeling about the Thai Cats uh, by hitting me up on Twitter at Louis B underscore TV. Because uh, I get it, you know, it's a weird time. It's that negotiation window. You know, you're seeing rumors, things aren't official. Uh, but we'll all know next week. Yeah, less than a week away, we will all know what's going on uh, in Hamilton Tiger Cats land. And I'm sure, I don't have confirmation, but I, I'm assuming uh, that we're going to have a lot of special stuff planned for you next week. Whether that's hearing from uh, Coach O, President of Football Ops, Arlon Steinauer. Uh, <clears throat> whether that's hearing from some of the guys who, who are yet to be signed, coming back, or some of the new faces. But uh, the Thai Cats Audio Network. Uh, is where you'll be able to find all of that, no matter who's hosting, whether it's me, whether it's somebody else. But uh, So make sure you like, subscribe, so you never miss an episode of this show or any of the other great shows on the Tiger Cats Audio Network. Speaking of which, yesterday we had a chance to catch up with Malik Carney. Uh, tomorrow uh, we'll catch up with Matthew Schiltz and uh, hoping to get assistant GM Spencer Zimmerman on the show tomorrow as well. So uh, make sure you're back. Check in wherever you get your favorite podcasts uh, for the latest around the uh, Thai Cats free agency. Um, nothing new to announce. We told you yesterday a couple players had already been signed. Nothing new to announce to you today. Uh, but I can let you know. You've probably already heard. But Sean Thomas Arlington is coming back. Had 53 rushes for 371 yards and one touchdown last season. He spent all five seasons of his CFL career in the black and gold. And he's with us now in STE. Uh, great to see you back, man. Really appreciate you joining us today. Uh, congrats on the new deal. Uh, take us through the process of uh, what it was like for you this time around. It was uh, not necessarily difficult. Just it was uh, we needed to talk a lot on the end of the team. Uh, we we ended up agreeing uh, with something, and I'm I'm very happy to be back. Thanks for the congratulations. Uh, to, to that point, I mean, you, you've you've gone through this process before. How has those past experiences being in this position helped you get through this? I mean, it's it's more or less the same year after year. Obviously, I think it's it's probably, it probably gets more complicated when you need to change or switch teams. I, I luckily didn't have to do that uh, ever since I've been in the league. So I guess my uh, my situation is a bit easier compared to a bunch of other guys. Uh, what, what is it about Hamilton that, that that this is home, that 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 this team, this city, this fit for you is is, is where you want to be? I think you said it like it's it, it's grown to be to be to become, I guess, a second home for me. Uh, I just I just love the city. I love the coaches, the players there. And it's just. Yeah, it feels like home. I know, like for Hamilton, this football team is is for some everything, and and or a lot. So just being surrounded by those fans every time we play a game here is just it's just great. Uh, you've been through some highs and lows with this team. I mean, you've 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 been to the peak at the Great Cup, and and you know not been able to to kind of plant the flag there. This past season obviously didn't go the way you wanted it to. What have you taken away? year to year that, that, that sticks with you, uh, uh, that, that you're going to use as motivation into this new year? For certain is that, well, nothing is guaranteed. Uh, it doesn't matter the team you have, the talent you have on the team. It's a, it's a team sport and, and every, everything and anything can happen. And you just got to prepare every week, week by week. You can't be thinking about next week. You got to be thinking about one game at a time. And then hopefully by the end of the year, you get it to playoffs and then, then it's sudden death for, for three games. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a new guy uh, handing the ball off uh, to you uh, in Bo Levi Mitchell. You've obviously been in the league a while. You know what Bo, Bo is about. What are you most looking forward to about working with a, a future Hall of Famer like Bo Levi Mitchell? He's, he's, um, he's obviously a great player. Never got the chance to play with him. Heard, heard from him, uh, heard about him from other players that played with him, but uh no, I guess I, I'm excited for the new. Is it definitely a new energy uh, in in the backfield in the in the huddle? So I'm excited to see what that looks like. 
Uh, the one thing about this uh, this business is that it is a business, right? And and guys are going to make financial decisions for them and and personal decisions. And and you know it's a small league, so guys are going to get around. But uh, what 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 do you what are you expecting come this new year? How how important is it going to be that that day one training camp that that this group gels? Because there are going to be a lot of new faces and a lot of key positions. I think it it comes down to getting the guys that really want to win. Obviously, it's 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 always easy to say, but when it comes down to playing the game of football and 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 suiting up on game day, you gotta you gotta want it more than the other team. So getting a bunch of guys that really want to win, uh, and then from there, when you got those bunch of guys, I don't think uh, getting the chemistry going or following the playbook becomes complicated. I think it just just flows. Uh, what do you miss most about, uh, about the off season? What, I mean, what, what, what are you kind of thinking right now? Uh, having been removed away from, uh, from the year, a couple of months now. I mean, for me, off season is always an excited moment, exciting moment in the sense where I get to, uh, start pushing myself again. Obviously not that I don't do it during the season, but, uh, you know, just trying to see where my body's at. Uh, obviously there's a recovery aspect of it also, but when we get started as, as I did two weeks ago, um, it's just to see if I can get to another level, uh, a higher level than I did last year. Uh, great cup coming back to Hamilton in 2023, obviously having been through that experience in uh, 2021, a, a little bit of a toned down version, uh, with the, you know, in the midst of the pandemic, what are you most looking forward to when it comes to the great cup being back here in Hamilton and, and how do you use that as motivation, uh, having experienced that, uh, just a few years ago? Yeah, I think obviously making it there, uh, number one, number two would be to just embrace it, take it all in. I guess, like you said, it was a bit toned down when we had it uh, a few years back. But I think having the full experience uh, would be the, the greatest thing. Yeah, absolutely. And, to it. and and finishing uh, with withholding that trophy. Uh, what do you got to do to get to that point? What what does this group need to do? Uh, you know, to to get together to to be able to to lift that trophy come November twenty twenty three. I believe the greatest key would be the selflessness, just playing for one another just playing as units and then as a whole, as a team and, and coming together for to hoist that cup. That cup. Uh, you, you mentioned it there. You're back at training, but what else have you been up to this, uh, this off season? How have you been keeping busy? Uh, I got a kid. So that's, uh, <laughs> that would do it. That's, that's, that's taken care of. Uh, <laughs> no, obviously just taking care of, uh, of the family here, uh, working on the house a little bit, a uh, few things that needs to be fixed, dealing with, uh, with snow because back in Quebec, a whole bunch of snow and, uh, you know, just, just keeping the property clean and improving it as much as, we, as we'd like to. Love to hear it, my guy. Uh, it's eight degrees and sunny here in uh, Hamilton today. I don't know what you're, uh, you're dealing with where you are, but uh, it's a beautiful it's, day here. Yeah. Three, three. Okay. Uh, all right. Three. It's not bad. Not all bad, right. Yeah. Well, buddy, I, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your off season. Uh, great to hear you back to work. I uh, can't wait to see you in a few months. Thanks for doing this. Awesome. Thanks. Dude. And that is Sean Thomas Erlington, who who has uh, re-signed as a member of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Uh, Always appreciate catching up with uh, STE. Uh, Speaking of catching up, looking forward tomorrow to catching up with Matthew Schiltz. Matt Schiltz, the uh, recently re-signed Tiger Cats quarterback. Uh, And you can check us out tomorrow right here on the Tiger Cats Audio Network. Also, possibly hoping for uh, assistant GM Spencer Zimmerman. Get his thoughts on where the team is at heading into the weekend. And just a reminder, yeah, it's right around the corner. Free agency, that's Tuesday. And um, we'll have lots of coverage here for you on the Ticats Audio Network. Make sure you check back tomorrow with Matt Schiltz here, wherever you found this show. Make sure to subscribe, like, because it's the Ticats Audio Network, bringing everything you need to know with your favorite CFL football team. Uh, they'll do it for us today. As mentioned, back tomorrow. We'll talk to you then. From all of us here at the Ticats Audio Network, I'm Louie Butko. Hope you have a great day.